Um, for a lot of organizations who struggle in terms of admin, of having the resources to carry their mission forward, in practice, uh, what do you see when organization says, okay, I agree with those values, now I have to apply them legally. Do they have the structure? Do they have the maturity and the resources to actually nominate somebody to be in charge of the data, to, to basically do the act of the accountability itself? In practice, what does it look like? So for me, you know, relating this back to what we try to do at Accountability Lab, we have an understanding that even just creating a policy costs resources. Having mm -hmm. someone with a legal background is able to look over your privacy policy or someone with real digital privacy expertise, for example, making sure that this is actually not only practical, but aligned with the different existing legal structures mm -hmm. out there. All of those things cost money. And what we try to do is we take our role as an organization that's slightly further along on our development journey really seriously in that the smaller partners we work with and the young people who come through our accountability incubator who we help to set up their own social impact projects or organizations, we actually make our policies available open source to them so that they can adapt nice. them and so that they don't have to go and pay, you know, the same legal fees to get mm -hmm. drafted and spend the man hours. And I want to challenge organizations out there who are in a position to do this, to go ahead and do that, because there's no reason we should that 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 others can't make use of this because it makes the sector stronger, you know, mm -hmm. if we are sharing these things. And you're absolutely right. Being accountable, being transparent, it comes at a cost, especially based on the communities where we work. So if we talk a little bit about the digital divide, for example, having having people understand how you work and why you work in a certain way online does not mean that everyone who engages with your work actually has access to it. So mm -hmm. in the case of Accountability Lab, where we work in countries like Somaliland, Zimbabwe, many other countries where, especially in rural parts, people have limited access to, to data, it means that we have to find lower tech ways to engage with communities and also in that way ensure that they understand if they give us their data what they're consenting to. So that often means going back to paper-based printed here is what we're going to do with your data, like sticking up posters that say that if you're coming to this event, you can, are you willing to consent to us using your picture? All of those ways in which things like privacy and transparency also intersect with safeguarding mm -hmm. is really for us at the heart of the matter. And we have to find ways to also cross the digital divide to essentially give people the agency to hold us accountable because they know what we're doing and what we're meant to be doing. And if that is just putting a policy online and thinking that, well, everyone can see our policy out there, then actually that's not being accountable. This, this is very interesting and, and, and fairly deep because essentially we go from the idea we have values, but good news, you don't have to restart from scratch and writing a document there there's a base that you can use and that you're sharing for free which is absolutely fantastic we need more of that collaboration but the idea from there is then to share it regardless of from the most technical side to the more and let's face it when you're in the field at Greybox, we work on projects that in areas where there's literally no internet connectivity. So you really have to adapt to a, a whole broad area of, of use cases. It, it directly comes to accessibility. And then if I get it right, you can use that as saying, don't worry. Yes, it's a bit of work to show those things, but it helps you to ultimately create transparency and trust. Absolutely. Right. And if the accountability if the cost of accountability allows you to gain more trust and to be accountable to your community so they can hold you to a higher standard, it really sets an interesting dynamic. 